Hello my beautiful Cancers and welcome to my channel. My name is Erica, this is Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. I am a psychic medium oracle prophetess. So if this is your first time here, welcome in my loves. We are a high vibe tribe and a pillar of light channel for light workers, star seeds, earth angels, and paths, twin flames, all the things. Um, those of you guys returning, welcome back my soul fam. Okay, let's get right into it. You guys have seen the title so you know why you're here. I am getting the, the, the words letting go. Three, three, as I look up, we're going to start off with a fortune telling Oracle deck. Mountains, moving mountains, 21 breaks down to a three. And I just pointed out the three, three right before this card came out. So there's that three, three, three sequence. The ascended masters are very strong here. Also, someone is mastering um, their ascension. This could be a divine masculine. I do see a stag here. Big antlers. Antlers are representative of the crown chakra, protection and connecting to, to God's source, to your divine self. Okay, 111 on the timestamp. We also have the number eight. Someone could be born on the third or the eighth. Those could be life path numbers. The mountain speaks of distance, solitude, you know, isolation. Obstacles and challenges though, and I did hear letting go. So it feels like someone is letting go of obstacles and challenges in their life. I just recorded Capricorn's reading. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or maybe you're a Capricorn or a strong Capricorn in the chart somewhere, but this was kind of similar energy. Okay, you have 21 and then 26 showing up. The book. There's also 10 of diamonds here, which would be like pentacle energy um, with the diamonds. So 10 of pentacles. That feels like the obstacle. And someone's been a closed book. Okay. There's something here about opening up. Reading between the lines also is what I'm getting. This is a stack of books. Someone could be um, a teacher, a librarian, a professor. Someone could just really love books. The smell of old books. Um, the smell of a library. This could all be resonant. It is resonant to some of you out there because I just got chills up both my legs. Okay. Um, also, we have the eight. Um, there's something about infinite energy, an eternal bond. Meeting in the middle also. I feel like there's going to be a meeting here between you and someone else, Cancer. Or someone is hoping to meet in the middle or meet you halfway or meet, meet up with you. Number 10, there's some kind of completion. All right, let's get one more. Three, two, three on the timestamp. That could be a sink. All right, another three. Okay. The ship. Someone is flying high. They're rising above the mountains, the obstacles. See how it's floating above a mountain? And then we started with the mountain. Okay, so someone is overcoming the obstacles. They're, they're breaking through. Someone wants you to know that they would climb mountains for you or there's something here about climbing mountains. You have another 10, 10, 10. This is about your ships arriving, things taking off. It's also air energy here. Dice. I'm rolling the dice. Make it a move. I'm getting your turn. Your turn. So someone is knows it's their turn, or this is you, Cancer, saying, okay, it's your turn. And then master number 22. There's been a crossroads, two different paths. But this is also, see, about two different doorways, portals. It's like your path and their path. And meeting in the middle. That's what I just got done saying. And then walking together the rest of the way. That's what I just got done saying. Someone could be 39 years old or 26. 
for the level of, of what I feel this is, okay, as far as the soul connection, I don't feel that someone is 21 or 22. I feel this is more, you guys have been through some stuff in life already. It could be though, you know, I'm not saying it's not, but it just feels that's too young for me as far as what I'm feeling, as far as the energy goes. 39. I'm getting within the next month. Someone rolls the dice. Someone's been afraid to take a risk. They had blocks. They had their head in the clouds. They were confused. They were, you know, in they were in a place of illusion. But there's a breakthrough in the clouds and the sun is starting to shine and it's almost as if these clouds are fading away. That's a part of the blocks and the mountains too, obstacles. With someone not seeing through the illusions. Okay, you have the castle here. King of the castle, that's what I got. King of the castle. Okay, let's use some classic Rider Waite. So if this is your message so far, my loves, be sure to claim it as yours by liking the video. If you are new here and you are digging the vibe, <laughs> feel free to subscribe. We welcome you to the tribe. Um, you can find all the information down below in the description box um, for the extended link to this reading. That's also where you will find all the info to book a personal reading with me. And you want, if you want to dig into your, you know, twin flame journey more or your spiritual path or whatever it is, um, or I also offer past life akashic readings. It's all there. All right. For Cancer, please tell me about this mountain. Tell me about the mountain. I'm, I'm just getting moving mountains, you know. Um, I'm also hearing that song by Andre Day. And I'll rise up, rise like the day you'll rise up. I'll be unafraid. And then she talks about um, move mountains. She said something like that. You have the death card, Scorpio. More water energy. You guys are water. Um, and then we have water here. Boats can be relevant. Um, someone's, it's like a lot of emotion here with all those, with all this water. But also with the death card, there's death and rebirth. So I feel like there was a death and there now there's this rebirth energy, meaning there was an ending and now there's been transformation, change, metamorphosis, death of the ego. That could have been part of the mountain, the block. Maybe this person had an ego the size of a mountain, you know, or they were just stubborn. You know, the mountain could be very stubborn, known as stubborn energy as well. Whatever it is, there's, there's transformation and rebirth. Again, the sun is starting to shine. I'm hearing Bob Marley. Sun is shining, the weather is sweet. <laughs> okay, so there's something about moving to calmer waters here. Someone seems to still be holding on to some stuff, though. It's like they need to throw some of these swords out of the boat. Yeah, exactly. Right when I say that, look. All these cards flip, and this is the first one we see. So someone is like still having like a little, little bit of like a, a, a struggle as far as like worry, fear. They could be like pretty restless. I'm getting a lot of like nervousness and anxiety though. Okay, so they, they're still like, what I'm getting is like some shadow work that this person is working on or going through. And, and what I am getting is like in the near future. And for some of you guys, this, this could be like what recently just happened and maybe this person is about to like make a move and come in, okay? But I feel that for a lot of you guys, this is where this person is, but um, the sunshine is shining. So it's like the light is, is is winning. The light is winning here. This person isn't gonna run back into their like karmic ways, shadow ways. That's what I'm getting. Okay. Queen of Wands. She is a fearless energy. I'm getting intimidation. 
someone could be moving away from a karmic situation, from a karmic female, feminine. That could be the death card too. That could be the block as well. And then rolling the dice, choosing a path and no longer being stuck in illusion. Could be that. We do have a three that could be third party. Um, but I'm just getting like someone who views you as someone very in their power. Someone who's very confident, you're very fiery at this time, even though you guys are water, it doesn't matter. You're fiery in life, you're sexy, you're driven, you're looking good. I'm getting like you get hotter as each day passes. So it's almost like someone can see you from a distance almost with Page of Wands here too. And they're going, oh my gosh, like this person is insanely good looking. They could have anyone they want. Like they walk into a room, I know they have all kinds of attention, eyes upon them, but they also are super confident, you know? Um, they're extremely creative, innovative. They're a go-getter, you know, all of that stuff. So there's an extreme curiosity here about what it would be like to be, you know, in union with you. And then right when I looked up, we were at 11 minutes even as I'm holding up the 11-11 card. But someone, again, they've been blocked. They haven't done shit. This is, this is that energy. We've got 222 showing up. It's like a crossroads. You got to choose a path. See, in your head. There it is. There's those clouds. Eight of swords. Okay. All right. And then nine of swords showing up again. Wow. Okay. This person has been really struggling with their thoughts and like clinging to the ego driven way of thinking and all of that and having a hard time trusting. Okay, let's get a couple more. So show me how this person is feeling right now exactly. Tell me more about the sunshine in the clouds. I got I just got chills at my right leg. So I feel like this is um it's a masculine energy. That's the masculine side. I feel like someone is rising above all of this. I feel like this is where they've been. Right as I say that, the nine of pentacles. So someone is starting to, they've been doing a lot of releasing, purging. They're becoming more vulnerable. They want to open up. There's something here about a really emotional, loving new beginning. I feel like someone is loving themselves again with the nine of pentacles. They um, have gotten out of the nine of swords. Um, and they've, they've, like remember what it's like to like be on their own again or just in their power again. And they are, you know, someone who's kind of got everything they need and stuff like that. I feel like they're just like really feeling themselves again. Let's clarify that. Is this someone who's like recently single or getting single? Yeah, they're walking away from something to have a passionate new beginning. Facing the shadow. Following their intuition though. Following their intuition. And you know what I just got is by the next full moon. We just had our full moon in Libra. Um, so by the next full moon. So like within the next moon cycle. Okay, this person is feeling really down. This is someone who feels like they lost you. And they secretly really love you. Okay. Yeah, this is something they want to offer to you for sure. They know that they've been back and forth. They know that they've been back and forth. That's why they're so in their head. And I'm getting so much chills at my right side. So this masculine is really, like, really in their head. Um, so we're going to go ahead and have, head over into your extended, my loves. Um, and we're going to pull on these energies again and go deeper um, and just see more about, like, what the, where this person is at exactly, what's going on around them what they want to say to you, what they feel to, towards you right now. Um, the what they want to say to you part is going to be big because I'm going to channel out basically like a whole like, you know, love letter type thing. So anyways, if, if you're interested in um, getting that, you can find that down below along with everything else. If you're interested in joining my quantum healing class, well, it's more of a workshop. Um, it's this Saturday, so it's just in a couple days. If you happen to find this before April 15th, 2023, um, it will be held at 1.11 p.m. Um, Pacific Standard Time on Zoom. Um, and basically what it is, is I will be channeling light language for, uh, it's an hour to an, an hour and a half to two hours, but I'll be channeling light language, which is quantum healing, um, 
from the dragons, the fairies, from Morgan Le Fay, the Avalon priestesses, Merlin, Isis, uh, Mary Magdalene, and Mother Mary. Um, and it's going to be highly activating for you um, and whoever or whoever joins. Um, basically activating your own light language, uh, memories and gifts, your, your soul gifts, um, you know, your, your spiritual gifts, all of that. Um, it's going to raise your vibration, raise your frequency. It's going to clear a lot of stuck, stagnant energy. It's going to um, heal past life trauma in a big way. It's going to assist in stuff that you're like, you know, just like maybe stuff that you're repeating or, or sticking to or sticking on, you know, that you just keep going, going, going like this, right? It's going to help heal that and clear it. Um, so it's really big. So anyways, if that's something that you feel called to, guided to, if you want to like hear more about it, if you go into my video uh, list from like, you'll see it's like, I don't know, like a week or two ago, I did like a voice recording and it says quantum healing workshop as the title. You can listen to it. It's like a 12 minute video and it'll tell you all about it. Um, but anyways, that is also down below. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. This is something that you've manifested in. And then children, you guys have spirit babies guiding this guiding this for sure, for sure, for sure. So I will see you over the extended. I love you guys. Thank you for all your love and support here on YouTube. Um, this is beautiful energy, by the way. This is someone, it's like big breakthrough energy is what I get. Um, even though this person is like pretty scared, I feel like big breakthrough energy. So, um, and I feel like this is something that excites, like makes you very happy. And I think this is something for a lot of you guys that you have been like intuitively like feeling like coming your way. So, um, anyways, I love you guys. Thank you for all of your thumbs up, your subscriptions, all the things, um, and for helping the channel grow and for being a part of the channel here with me. So bye my loves.